guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make homemade reed cases. Now these homemade reed cases will keep your reeds from molding or mildewing and they will extend the life of your reeds. So let's dig in. These are some of the containers that I've been collecting to make into reed cases. The first thing that I like to do is mark the cases for an air ventilation hole. This allows for the reeds to breathe and to avoid any mold or mildew. My student Shelly drilled the holes for me and then went in with a pair of needle nose pliers to remove any of the additional shavings. I picked up reed foam from Forest Double Reed and this will ensure that the reeds will not jostle around while I'm traveling, losing an ear or cracking a tip. I decided to start with the tins because I knew they didn't need any excess decoration and I wouldn't be easily distracted. I started by clipping off the end of the foam and then measuring by eye about how much I would need. Once I had that done, I took Gorilla Glue and I smeared it all over the back of the foam, making sure to hit all of the edges to be secure, and then pressed it into place. Not minutes later, I had a working reed case. Next up are these vintage computer disc holders. This was a recommendation to me by my friend Carolyn Beeson who teaches over in Georgia. She recommended these and I picked some up off of eBay. Now I started by using Duco cement to secure the foam, but I do have to say that I went back later and replaced it with Gorilla Glue because it was so much more secure. I find these cases are fun because they allow for decoration with washi tape as well as I was able to break out my sticker collection. was a makeup storage from Sephora and I realized with this hard piece of cardboard that the best way to get the measurements for the foam was to actually go along the back of the case rather than the inside of the case. So I would suggest that after I made this one. After having filmed the tutorial, I did speak to Carolyn and she said that she used hot glue from a hot glue gun in order to secure the foam into the vintage computer disc holder. So that is also an option if you can't find Gorilla Glue where you are at. I would like to let you know as well that only for the month of April, we are selling Raff Reads t-shirts on my website. I will be sure to link it in the description box down below. They are only $18 plus the cost of shipping and proceeds are going to benefit my CD that I'm getting ready to record as well as the JSU Double Read Studio. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna make sure you don't miss a future video, be sure to click that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.